Giovanna. I need to call my mom and I can't get a signal. Do you have cell service? I need that 5G. Maybe you'll have better luck on the moon. What? That's right. Nokia, the telecommunications company, has been selected by NASA to build the first cellular network on the moon. This network will be a part of NASA's Artemis Lunar Exploration Program, which aims to send more astronauts to the moon by 2024. Nokia has promised to build the first wireless communication system in space by 2022, two years before the astronauts arrive. With a mobile network on the moon, astronauts will be able to send video and voice messages to Earth, as well as deploy and control lunar rovers and other robotic devices through the network. This technology will also be able to withstand extreme temperatures and radiation in space. Hold up, that's pretty cool. But how can Nokia get a signal on the moon if I can't even get one here on Earth right now? That's a good question. To be honest, I'm not really sure how cell phones work on Earth, let alone on the moon. <laughs> Sounds like it's time to go to Trenton for some next-gen science. Hey, Next Gen News. Trenton here to blow your minds about cell phones. Cell phones have come a long way since they first came out back in 1973. These days, cell phones are a bit more sleek and user-friendly. But how do they work? Let's start with phone calls. Believe it or not, talking on the cell phone is actually very similar to talking to someone using a walkie-talkie. Hello? Come in. When you talk to a friend on your cell phone, your phone converts your voice into an electrical signal which then is transmitted via radio waves to the nearest cell tower. Then, the network of cell towers relays the radio wave to your friend's phone, which converts it to an electrical signal, and then back to the sound of your voice again. Nowadays, most cell phones have the capability to access apps and surf the web using Wi-Fi or cellular data. The science behind connecting cell phones to the internet is very similar to phone calls. Both Wi-Fi and cellular data use radio frequencies to wirelessly transmit the internet to your device. Now, let's talk about how a cellular network can work on the moon. To make this possible, Nokia will build a 4G LTE network and implant it into a lunar lander that gets delivered to the moon's surface. Nokia's lunar network will be close enough to connect to Earth's network using radio waves. And click, you have selfies from space. So the next time you pick up a cell phone to call your mom or make a TikTok video, just remember how truly amazing this technology is.